Man, what fucking rakes? Julian. Excuse me, do you think that's appropriate language to be used in public? Oh, which part? I think you know which part. Oh, fuck. Come on, it's not like I said cunt. What? <laughs> so what's been going on in the happy house, my white-skinned friend? Ah, uh, not much, Jules. Just working hard at uni. Got my final exams coming up. <sighs> not the fucking uni talk again. This time of year, it's always the same shit with you. Don't you ever take five minutes out to you know, watch porn or something? Nah, nah, it's too hard at my house. Mum and Dad have a nasty habit of bursting on me, making sure I'm studying. So let them burst in. Just say you were cleaning it and it went off. Yeah, somehow I don't think that's gonna work. What the fuck, man? It's not like your old man's the Pope. And anyway, it's a well-known fact that without regular service, your sperm goes sour and your babies come out to form. Yeah, where'd you hear that? I don't know. I think I read it on the internet or something. Actually, come to think of it, it might have been Oprah. Are you high? Maybe. Point is that if you don't do something soon, little guy's gonna pack up, move on, find himself another pair of testicles. Can you guys stop talking about your dicks for one second and maybe do some work? We can talk about your penis if you like. I hear it's a real monster. I swear your brother told me it had teeth and shit. <sighs> you know, one day she's gonna come back in here with a gun, and when she does, you're fucked. Come on, mate. Better do some work for the pile-up or ass to poke out of her mouth, eh? Bet you the white guy gets chocolate. Come on, Julian, do you want to say any louder? No, it's very simple. Obviously, on a first date with a girl, doesn't want to offend her people. How is not getting chocolate offending her people, and how do you know it's a first date? Well, look at the guy. He's nervous as shit. Keeps making horrible jokes and following her around like a bad smell. He'll get chocolate to show that he's open to new ideas. Nothing says I'm not racist like a big double cone of chocolate. You know, I've often wondered how you haven't got the absolute shit kicked out of you. You'd have to be the most politically incorrect person I've ever met. Just state the truth, my brother. Watch and be amazed if you don't believe me. What do you have? It's five bucks. Yeah, all right. <sighs> ding, 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 we have a winner. That was such a fluke. Oh, I disagree. I have to think I'll ask the guy what his motivation was. Excuse me, sir. My colleague and I were just curious as to why he decided on chocolate. You do know we have 71 other flavours, right? So, why chocolate? Guess I just like chocolate. Simple guy. Easy to please when it comes to ice cream. So it's got nothing to do with the fact that your date's black? What'd you say, asshole? I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. He didn't mean it like that. No, no, no. I mean it exactly like that. Why else would you choose chocolate out of 72 flavours? It's a fair question. You're fucking sick, mate. We're out of here. Let's go. What? It's a fair question. That's it. I can't deal with this shit anymore. I'm going home. You thought it was a fair question, right? Yeah. Taking that as a yes. Hey, Cyril. Yeah, mate. How do you reckon I got uni? Studying what? Uh oh. I was thinking maybe something to do with kids? PE teaching or something? What the fuck's so funny about that? You hate kids. I don't fucking hate kids. Oh, what, the little shits that come in here? They're greedy little bastards. Nah, I don't think you can do it, to be honest. Fuck you. I reckon I can do it. What's the deal with your parents, anyway? I don't know. Dad's a lawyer. He kind of figures I want to be a lawyer as well. What do you want to do? Oh, forget about it. Come on, what do you want to do? You promise you won't laugh? Of course I'll fucking laugh. What is it? I want to be a performer. A performer? Yeah. Like a dancer. 
See, this is why I don't talk to you about anything. Oh, come on, it's a little weird, don't you think? Mum and Daddy's little study freak wants to be a dancer. Well, fuck you. Oh, come on, show us some moves then. Are you serious? Do I fucking stutter? Yes, I'm serious. Come on. You've got me thinking lately that I don't deserve the happiness I've found And maybe I'd do better if I had the Mate, that's some impressive shit. It's got gay backstreet boy written all over it. Fuck you, mate. Come on, MJ. Go get your stuff while I lock up, eh? Fun as my persistence with a healthy dose of crashing to the ground. Now I think I found the reason why these side effects have never been down. I envy you, you know. I don't envy me too. Can't buy looks like this, mate. <laughs> nah, seriously. You've got nothing to worry about. Your life's so simple. Got no school, no study, no parents. It's perfect. Oh, mate, that's bullshit and you know it. Where the fuck am I gonna be in ten years? Still this fucking place, that's where. You just gotta take control of your life. You're 20 for fuck's sake. It's about time you jumped off your old lady's nipple. Started doing what you wanna do. Yeah, I know. No, you don't. I'll give anything for the kind of opportunities you have. Just be thankful. Make the most of it. Well, this is me. Same time tomorrow, then? Uh, no. Nah. No, nah, I've got a family thing on. Sorry. Alright. Maybe we can grab a beer once you knock off tomorrow. Yeah. Well, every time I hear your smile, well, it reminds me of our days. From the first of them, we would seem to laugh like we known each other always. So now and again, I'll hear your smile, and it reminds me of our days. Though they fade away, we can still laugh with that. And have you thought of me since you left this place? If I just once entered your mind I'd like to play it cool and say I hadn't missed you But that would simply be a lie Now I'm sure you will remember And you left me here to wonder Why did is it fills your days Well I just hope that you are happy 